All right, today we're going to be talking about uh, some corals in the reef tank and some interesting things that are going on, some changes, and uh, some cool things about some unique species of coral. So uh, let's get started. Um, today I want to talk about um, this coral up here. You can see some dead skeleton up there. It was experiencing a, an infection from a uh, protozoan, <coughs> ciliates and protozoan infection. Um, it's like you could think of it as uh, like flesh-eating bacteria. Um, anyway, that's not what I wanted to talk about today. Um, that coral, when we placed it in the tank, spawned. And it has produced colonies all over the aquarium, over 30 colonies. There's a daughter colony. There's a daughter colony. Right there. Right there. Right there and there. Um, let's see, there's another one there. There's another one there. There's another one right there. I zoom in. Right there and there. They're all over the aquarium. Um, there's another one right there. There's another one right there. There's two of them right there and there. So what's going on here? How come that's the only species of coral that's spawning? Well, this coral uh, acts like a seahorse or Bangai Cardinal in that it's a brooding, it broods its babies. Um, the, uh, I believe it's the female uh, coral, uh, collects the sperm, fertilizes the eggs internally, and then um, <clears throat> it holds on to the babies, the larvae, and it broods them before it releases them. Most other corals will just release their sperm, broadcast, release the sperm, broadcast, release the eggs all at the same time, roll the dice, and good luck. Hopefully it works out. Well, in this coral, it's called Postulopora damocornis, and there it is. It's one of the daughter colonies. And uh, give you a sense for how big it is. That colony, there's, and you can see my ring finger there. That coral is about two uh, inches in diameter, and it's uh, just over a year old. So um, the way it works is this coral uh, lets its planula larvae, in other words the embryo, um, mature within the mother colony before it's released. Other colonies, they release them, they take their chance, most of them get eaten, they spend a long time in the water column before they can settle out and become a baby coral. Whereas this coral um, spends a very short period of time in the water column. So in reef tanks, aquariums, that specific species of coral with this strategy, um, you commonly get daughter colony spawning events that are successful, um, where the babies uh, recruit out into new colonies. And then you can see another one right there. So that's today's tip on uh, Apostle Pora damocornis, the uh, form of sexual reproduction where they're brooding their young. Just like a seahorse brew has a pouch where it broods its young, or the Bangai Cardinal, which is that fish right there that broods its young in its mouth. Uh, today I'm talking about a coral that broods its young. And uh, if you have a question, if you have a question and you'd like to an uh, ask a question, um, right below this video there's a place where you can post a comment, ask your question, and uh, we'll answer it uh, on uh, one of the next uh, videos. The person with the best question wins. Thanks very much.